The Bakersfield City School District recently announced it is canceling summer school classes. Tonight, more than 1,000 students and teachers protested outside the district's board meeting. 17's Karen Waugh was there, and she joins us with how the move may impact you. Karen? Tonight, there were so many protesters that hundreds were forced to sit outside the board meeting. A mob angry at their elected officials, a district they said should serve them, the taxpayers. Kevin Benavides has been attending summer school since the first grade. Because of summer school, I graduated from eighth grade. Summer school was once a six-week program. It was then cut to 13 days. And in December, the Bakersfield City School District canceled the program entirely. We have to consider the fact that summer school serves only a very small portion of our school community of our district. And the dollars might be better utilized uh, when we're um, looking at the more global picture and addressing the needs of all students. The program for at-risk students used to average an enrollment of 7,000. Now it serves about 3,000. And he said it was all the way down to 3,000 students. That's more than a high school in Bakersfield, California. That's 10% of our student population. A big concern for the district, money. The program costs $1.8 million, which is not covered by state grants. It accounts for about 1% of the district's annual budget. But protesters say the cost is worth it to support lower performing students, especially students of color, those who are low income, and those for whom English is not their first language. We need to make education accessible to all of our students, especially English learning students. The district solution? That we can find a creative and innovative ways to still deliver the services while not becoming fiscally irresponsible. The district told us there's a possibility of bringing back summer school in 2020. But for now, kids like Kevin are worried about the upcoming school year without summer school. This all comes as salary negotiations between BCSD and the teachers union remain at a standstill. Teachers protesting tonight also called for a raise renegotiation, higher than the 2% they were offered. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.